Welcome to Mark Reed 757 and I'm back at it. Uh, let's see last week I did not have a weigh-in video. Uh, I got a little busy plus I was still at 434 so that kind of eh. so I spent the the week you know um, researching different tools that could possibly help me with this journey. I also uh, purchased some and I've uh, did some other things as I'll get on to. Anyway, I weighed in today. It was 424, so hey me, I got a 10 pound loss since last week and uh, I'm going to continue on that trend. And the nice thing is I didn't even get to implement all these new tools that I got. And I don't want to have any links to these tools yet. I just want to mention them. Uh, I will have links as I, you know, progressively get to see how they're working. Uh, like, for instance, I don't know how to... Ugh, got a new Fitbit. Um, so that was one of the purchases. I got a, a new Fitbit to kind of monitor my activity and the heart and the sleep. And it, it does all kinds of cool little features. I'll dive in more into it as I get to uh, experience them. Uh, let's see. I, I bought a new Fitbit scale. Now, being 424 now... I'm still 24 pounds away from being able to use that scale so that was still another incentive for me to get down to below 400 because 400 is the weight capacity that the Fitbit scale has but I figured you know what I'm gonna be under 400 I better be under 400 because this thing wasn't you know really cheap uh, the other thing I joined was Weight Watchers uh, I've, I've tried the fasting time and time again and Fasting does work for some people. I don't have the uh, willpower to fast for long durations of time. I want to eat something, and with Weight Watchers, they do a point system, and there's so many different zero-point foods that I have to choose from that I'm more than satisfied. So that, that makes me happy. Instead of, uh, you know, having limited... You know, instead of not knowing, that's what it was. Because before, yes, I did lose 100 pounds. Obviously, I didn't sustain it. It wasn't something that was maintainable. But I did it with fasting. And the hardest part during that journey was always binging. And with the Weight Watchers, the way they have it set up, I don't really feel like I need to binge. There's so many zero-point foods that they fill all my needs. And I feel like a lot of their zero point foods are the nutrients that your body needs. And that's what allows me to stay on track with this. Because I feel like when I wasn't paying attention and, and how I gained all this weight and why I was always hungry. I feel like that's your body's way of telling you, hey look, I'm not getting anything good. Can you get me something good? And that's why it's sending out the hunger and stuff. And you know, I, I go... And eat more and more because I'm like, wow, you know, I, I, I'm still hungry. But here it's the body wanting to get actual nutrition. Where now with the Weight Watchers one with the zero points, I'm eating those zero point foods. And I feel like I am getting the nutrition. And I, I feel like, you know, way better. And the other thing was I was staying up real late at night. You know, I, I was drinking and all kinds of sorts of bad things bad habits and i wanted to get back on track where you know i'm waking up in the morning i go exercise uh you can be so much more productive when you get up in the morning and do stuff so that was the goal of mine that's what i'm starting to obtain I, this is day two of it but at least now i i got really high hopes for next week's weigh-in because now i have everything on track ready to go and we'll see what happens for next week. Um, I also joined the YMCA. I, I used to be a member for quite a while. And I quit for about a year. Well, now I'm back at it. And they opened up swimming. So I'm swimming laps. Uh, that's all that's available right now anyway. But that's all I really want to do. And that's what's really cool about this Fitbit. It keeps track of all your activities automatically. And it it knows when you're swimming it knows when you're you know i guess bicycling walking jogging running it it keeps track of all that and it 
uh, keeps track of your heart rate, your sleep, and uh, you know that that's pretty cool because. I'm the type I don't really want to write every single thing down and I haven't written anything down before I think that was one of my downfalls and with Weight Watchers yes I do have to input like the food and stuff but once you input like a meal you can kind of save it and if you want to have that similar meal or same meal you can just click on that and you it all enters right in there so you basically do it once and you can do um, use it over and over and over again uh, let's see the other thing I'm doing other than swimming is walking I walk all kinds uh, uh, at the track and one of the hardest things for me was uh, I could only walk short distances so yeah the last couple weeks I had this track that I found it's not real big but they have two benches and I could make it to one bench and sit down for a little bit make it to the next bench sit down there and keep doing that and then I was able to do like one time around well yesterday I was able to walk five times around without stopping and that's very significant because you know when you can only go half and a half it's like man how bad did I damage my body and but I knew I had to keep going so now I can get five so the next you know goal would be to be able to do ten times around and then I I've I really, my long-term goal is to be able to go disc golfing again on a regular basis. So I feel like if I could do 10 times around the flat track, I think it's time I can probably start doing a little bit of disc golfing. You know, at least try it. So that's the goal. I want to get back to disc golfing. I think it'd be real beneficial to me because they have hills and it gives you something to do and it's something I enjoy. Um, I, I just want to get back at it. And uh, the goal I have for next week's weigh-in, you know, I, I feel like I just want to keep on track. I'm not going to put a weight attached to it, a weight per se, but I would really like it if I maintained what I'm doing. Waking up early, so I, I set my alarm for 545. Today I woke up earlier than that, but just maintain that 545, get up go to the gym Monday through Friday to swim um, and then do some walking and then also do all the other productive things like you know make sure my house is tidy my car is tight everything's you know in order and I feel like if I can do that and then also be able to do more stuff with the kids I will hit uh, that will be my goal that's my that's my goal for next week just make sure I'm maintaining all that uh, I do want to start incorporating weights as well for weightlifting, but I wanted to give it another week of doing this, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, turn that thumbs up blue, and smash that notification button. Till next time, I'm Mark Reed.